everybody, Cypher Boy here, and today I'm going to be trying to play The Sims 2 again. So I went into the Create a Sim, and I'm going to go ahead and do a new family uh, to experiment with. Because in the previous videos with the 8 <coughs> household families, the game kept crashing for some reason, so I'm going to try it with maybe a two or three family uh, household this time around, and hopefully that works. And before I started this part, I did go through to the uh, newest created, um, newest created uh, neighborhood and deleted that one because that's when the problems for the game started, whenever that was created. <coughs> So hopefully that had um, helped with the um, making the game work. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize three times like the randomize. I don't know what the challenge was called, but I'm just going to ram randomize everything for this family. So one, two. And I wish that this had a thing where it randomizes the names too. Um, I guess I'll call her Sophia. Um, let's see. I'm gonna leave the clothing alone as it is. And then just do the personality traits. Um, so I'm just gonna try to randomize that as well. Clicking on each thing three times and just um, clicking anything inside of the thing. <coughs> so this one, this one is going to be the guy. three times one two three I think the challenge was called the genetics challenge or something like that for the Sims 4 okay let's call him mm. let's see Maybe something like Jaws. That's the first thing that came to mind when I was thinking of something. two and let's do one more for this one I'll do a teenager because those are the best um, maintenance compared to the rest of them. So one, two, three. <clears throat> and I'm just 
closing my eyes and trying to do it that way. Um, let's call this one maybe Rachel. Relationships. I'll leave it at that because I don't want to have too many people in the household. As I said, this one is the um, experiment to see if the game will crash with them. Okay, here's the neighborhood, so let's get them a new plot of land. Let's see what I can do with that. I think I may um, put off on getting them jobs at this point because it seems that every time I go to the computer that's when the game crashes so instead I'll give them stuff to earn the money like at home so they don't have to get the jobs or anything uh, I'll just <clears throat> I don't even remember what the qualities were for the these people so hopefully creativity will be one of them so does anyone else out there still play the sims, sims 2 if so how do you like to play it like do you like creating graveyards or something for the households I did that a lot in The Sims 1. And I would end up putting people in the, uh, enclosed spaces without the doors and put a bunch of fireplaces and trash cans everywhere. So I did in the backyard. Okay, let's see. I think I'm just gonna create a household, I mean a house like without stairs leading up to it like a porch or anything. so much it's not too distracting I know it probably is though but I'm a little bit sick at the moment so it's kind of hard to talk a little bit so there's that let's see if I can Here's a challenge, let's see if I can create a small house enough with enough room for all of them. Like that can be the daughter's bedroom. Maybe that can be the master bedroom. Maybe put a bathroom here in the corner. This can lead to out here where they can maybe have a swimming pool or something. Let's 
let's see maybe I have water help um, like this half wall here which is pretty much kind of big in the 80s and I think even the 70s and that will create a foyer plot, uh, thing and then they have this part here and then this over here for two different things maybe this on the left could be a kitchen or something It's not as extreme. <coughs> Roof tiles. Um, maybe a slate. Okay, I like that. So go back down. So because they're going to be doing stuff at home to earn money, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, grab some of the things they may need, which is normally here in the hobbies area. So let's grab an easel because that's one of the staples for a home business in the game. Then over here, the pottery wheel thing. That's pretty good because as you create the um, items, you're able to go into the inventory and sell it after it's um, finished making something. Put that over there out of the way. So now we need the so-called creature comfort things. In this case, I think go with the cheaper beds um, I think for the daughter I would go ahead and do a like a kind of a princess theme room maybe have a lot of combinations you can do as far as the uh, bedding goes but I like that so let's put that over there we need plumbing so let's put a toilet in shower and the uh, tub <laughs> and then one more 
bed. This one will be a plain size. I'll go with the Asian theme for this master bedroom. So at the moment we just need the doors, that way the people can go into their rooms and whatnot. I'll do the cheap doors for now. front of the house, um, I'll do this nicer door, maybe in that color. Yep. And if I wanted to, I can put windows on either side. And then put like tables and stuff at the foyer so that it'll be more uh, decorative. <coughs> so now for the um, kitchen area. I would deal with the uh, wallpaper and carpeting and stuff for flooring later on but for this I'm going to give them the best that the game offers and for now the countertops can be the 90 simoleon ones I can always replace them later on they call it a farm sink or whatever and then the one thing everybody needs in their houses in the game are the um, fire alarms the people catch their stoves on fire trying to make stuff and also the burglar alarms that way if anyone comes in um, it'll alert the police and then they'll have the police come and drag them away one better. And let's put the couch over towards the door. That way it doesn't, um, towards the front door, I mean. That way it doesn't, um, hinder the bed, the bathroom door. It's okay to put there. So there, let's see if there's anything else we can put. Um, I 
As I gain more money, that's when I start to really decorate the houses. I like to go ahead and um, okay, we can have the stitching machine. These needs chairs or anything though. I guess I can try it and see. Um, but for now, that looks good. Oh, I forgot the bookcases. They need the bookcase to. Um, be able to um, learn cooking skills and things like that. So let's try. That should work. save it before anything happens and I lose all that stuff that I just did that would be a disaster to try to do over again custom made um don't know where all that stuff is though It's not any of it going to show up or something. It's not showing up, but had it shown up, I would have shown you how to delete it from the game really quick. You know, have like a little mini tutorial type thing. However, it seems that's not needed at the moment. case <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave this episode here and um, put it under the Thompson family episode one title and then record the next one because I don't want everything to be too long as far as um, the time is on the video so till next time bye